Everyone loves a good comeback story. The push up. Oh! Oh, this happens! They made it work! Cloud nine! From CLG EU versus Moscow 5 to evil geniuses at the International, comebacks are exciting, unexpected, and super hype. But what about when there's an underdog team who after a long season of poor results are gifted two free wins going into a best of five and then squander it? This is E United versus Space Station Gaming. This match is taking place in 2019 during season six of the Smite Pro League. The fixture is between E United, a relatively good team who were about middle of the table at the time, and Space Station Gaming a team of fan-favorite personalities who were struggling to get results. SSG was at the bottom of the standings. After a few mid-season changes to the team, including hiring Alpha Jackal as their new coach, there was some hope that they could turn their season around. Their first big test would be against E United, who, as we've discussed, were a decidedly mid-tier team. When game day rolled around, it was business as usual at the studio. The crew was getting ready for the event, the players were setting up for their games... Wait a sec. Where are the players? But I just want to make sure that we keep you all updated. First things first, E United are running a little bit late term in terms of actually just getting here to the studio. And the way that the rules work, just plain and simple, if they're not here by 1 o'clock when things all get started, that first game is forfeit. So just right out the gate already, they're going to be down a game. This match was set to start at 1 p.m., but at 12.59, E United was nowhere to be seen. The rules of the SPL stipulate that if a team is not ready for their scheduled start time, they would forfeit one game, and for every five minutes they're late thereafter, they forfeit another game. E United did not manage to show up for 1pm, and forfeited their first match. This meant that they had five minutes to be at their tables and ready to start, otherwise they'd forfeit game two as well. Thankfully, at 104, E United were all there, except for Benji. When the clock hit 105, E United only had four players ready to go and were forced to forfeit their second game. If the clock hit 110, E United would forfeit their last match, and SSG would take the set in a convincing 3-0 fashion. However, saving his team at the bell, Benji finally managed to roll out of bed and show up at 109, only nine minutes late, and the games were able to begin. So, the cards were obviously stacked in SSG's favor. They were starting up 2-0, and they only had to win one match out of three. It was their set to lose. Knowing that you only need to one, only win one game could maybe even hurt your mentality a bit. If they do drop this set, which could certainly still happen, yeah, that does some for real damage. Yes, this would be a real backbreaker for Space Station Gaming. I mean, this this if they end up losing a set where they're up 2-0, this could send ripples throughout their whole season. In my mind, I mean, this yeah. it almost puts a lot of pressure on them in a way that you have to win this game. It, you don't have to win game one necessarily, but, well, game three technically, but you need to win this set. This is yeah. a must win now for Space Station. If they end up losing this set, then this team is going to potentially implode. I, I mean, it, it is... Going into game one, SSG took a nice early lead. They got a couple of kills, gained a nice gold advantage, but pretty quickly, E United were able to equalize and win the match, scoring an ace in the final team fight and taking down SSG's Titan. But no problem. It's only game one, and SSG proved that they could win the early game. Now, they just needed to do it again and capitalize in game two. Starting off game two, everything looked to be going well. SSG earned a bunch of kills early on and created a lot of separation from their opponents. With almost a 14,000 gold advantage, it was SSG's game to lose. And what happened next was exactly that. Titan goes down nonetheless. We're going to a game five. It's tied up at two as E United. With their two game cushion decidedly deflated, all eyes were on Space Station Gaming. They had no more games to give and must win this one. They proved for two games in a row that they could hang in the early game. And game three started in just the same fashion. Early kills across the board gave SSG a firm gold lead. With that gold lead, SSG started to snowball, racking up kills left, right, and center. 8-0, 9-0, 10-0, 11-0. Nearly 10,000 gold in the lead, SSG forced a fight at the Fire Giant, successfully bait United into challenging them, and pushed their lead to 12-1. All they had to do was start pushing and overwhelm their opponents. But what happened next was just another in a long list of mistakes made by SSG during the set. Benji trying to creep on in there. 
25% on the Fire Giant. Benji doesn't have the ultimate a second time. Yes, he does. Just came up. Still fighting over it. E United. They steal it. Back to the Belfry. Benji on top. And the fight's going to go their way as well. Big Man Tings takes two. Three players sitting down. While trying to take the Fire Giant for a second time, Benji of E United started pushing in to apply some pressure. Instead of turning to fight him off, as they had done just a few minutes ago, SSG stayed focused on the Fire Giant, allowing the rest of E United to close in and trap them. Even if SSG managed to kill the Giant, they would still have to fight their way out of the pit, and with low health all around, it seemed like they would be dead anyway. Their best hope at this point would be to kill the Fire Giant, and then maybe take a few E United players with them. Unfortunately, just as the Giant was nearing 0 HP, Benji managed to snipe and steal the buff with Bat Out of Hell, and the ensuing fight went 4 to 1 in favor of E United. Once again, although SSG was technically still up in gold, the momentum was going the other way. When SSG initiated the next team fight, Benji managed to flank around, get two kills, and E United started to push. They took a tier 1 tower, a tier 2 tower, and the left side Phoenix, which they followed up by winning another team fight, and just like that, the game was over. Do not matter. They come in just in time. Two games go down to some questionable, questionable performances. As one fan on Reddit said, neither team showed up to play. Yeah, I don't think United should feel particularly good about this win. I Space Station just should just feel like this is the worst loss ever. And it, frankly, this ranks up there with the worst SPL losses ever. I mean, it, it, it's a loss for words. It had a 2-0 lead in this set and a 10K lead twice and lost them both. Something has got to change for this team. They can't win as they're constructed right now. That's been proven to me. This video is made possible thanks to our wonderful patrons. Massive thank you to everyone on this list, and shout out to Jason, Foxy, Lyra, Mauve, Nate, Nathan, Oshayo, Sierra, Shampoo, Weebu, Spartacus, and Yashichi for being Platinum supporters. And an extra special shout out to Steven, Noodles, Marco, Mookie, and Daniel for being Diamond supporters. Thanks for sticking with us. If you also want to support our channel and unlock perks, check out the Patreon link in the description below or join our Discord server. If you want to help us out in a different way, leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell to stay up to date is also appreciated. My name is Jonah, thanks for watching.